we've learned recently that the NSA has been collecting the telephone records of uh, US customers at Verizon under a top secret court issued um, order. The administration has defended this decision as a necessary tool of the, of the arsenal against terror. Um, essentially, the president has cast it as a trade-off between civil liberties and uh, national security. Do you, do you concede that that is a trade-off that, that needs to be made? No. I mean, and I, I, I would point President Obama to Senator Obama's comments on this, um, because I think Senator Obama was right about this. And, um, you know, it was, it was painful in a way to watch the president the other day. He was playing ping pong with his former self uh, on, on this issue. I mean, I, I think that it's not that there aren't serious threats against the country. Of course there are. And the United States has a right uh, to engage in intelligence operations against those who are trying to do harm to the country. Um, I think it has gotten so out of control, though. The, the idea that you have the national security agencies uh, just uh, vacuuming up the data of, of U.S. citizens and saying that you, they have the right to go into the records if there's a 51% chance that, that it's a foreigner and not an American. How do they determine the 51% foreigner uh, equation? I mean, it really is kind of astonishing that there's this entire infrastructure just sucking up the data, and, and we don't know what's being done with it. Uh, you know, former NSA people have come forward uh, recently, whistleblowers, Bill Binney, Thomas Drake, now you have Edward Snowden, uh, who is the whistleblower that's been providing the information to Glenn Greenwald and Barton Gelman, um, all saying that the N that NSA officials go in front of Congress and lie um, about the extent of what they're doing. And I think we all have, th there, there should be a far more transparent investigation into what exactly the NSA is doing, particularly against American citizens. Um, I, I don't think we have any sense of the scope of this program, even in light of these uh, revelations. And what I find particularly disturbing is that the people that have blown the whistle on this, people like Thomas Drake, uh, their lives are being, their careers are being ruined for having the audacity to say, I've seen things and been a part of things that I think are unconstitutional, uh, potentially illegal, and, and certainly immoral. And I believe the American people have a right to know this. Their careers are being ruined and they're being targeted while the architects of the CIA's torture program, people like Jose Rodriguez, who developed the black site archipelago and, and, and continues to enthusiastically promote torture, is on a book tour. You know, someone like Paul Wolfowitz is somehow considered a legitimate member of society, but an NSA official who blew the whistle on warrantless wiretapping is being criminalized. I mean, that says a lot about where we are. So, I mean, I, I think we can have a debate about the balance between security and privacy. Um, but everything, every indication that we have is that it is dramatic overreach that's happening. And, and if Congress was, had, had a stiffer spine in standing up to this and said, you know what, we're, no, we're not going to accept that only eight members of Congress go into the padded room and look at the documents. This should be an issue that, that the representatives elected by the people of this country have a right to oversee. And I, I blame a lot of this on Congress. This is not just President Obama. Congress plays a huge role through sins of omission uh, in much of our uh, foreign policy and internal civil liberties policy.